another episode of All Fisher TV and today I am doing my first ever challenge video right I think I'm pretty sure it's my first ever challenge video and it's gonna be a tiny rod or ice fishing rod challenge I have a speed craw Texas rigged lined up there come on zoom in um, just Texas rigged up there I got uh, my Cabela's Verano 2500 on here boom there we go and uh, I have a I don't even know what fish hunter camo this is a 26 inch medium rod it's a lot stiffer than a lot of uh, ice fishing rods at least the one that I have or seen in the past um, which is why I grabbed it I have another ice fishing rod but it's so flimsy it's for like little tiny tiny panfish and uh, this one's actually for some decent sized fish so I picked this one up instead of the other one just so I will have a slightly easier time doing this challenge and I'm just bringing on my tackle I don't know exactly if I'll be throwing that the whole time but I am not bringing my other rods because I'm gonna stick to the tiny rod I'm gonna fit no matter how many ponds I have to go to I will catch a fish on this rod oh I haven't done a challenge yet this this, this is gonna be fun wanted to switch things up a little bit because I know I've been all over the freaking place I'll after October's over I still have one more trip I will recap the whole month oh man it's gonna be fun looking back on this month it was a great month time to get to the pond What to bring, what to bring, speed cross, um, hooks and weights in case I break off, and some buzz baits for right now. The water looks awesome. I'm not even going to take b-roll shots right now. I want to get the heck out there and fish. Oh man, they're going to be right up on the... Right up on the banks, I think. Wow, that is glass. This is the start to All Fishing TV's my first ever challenge video on the channel. It's going to be the Tiny Rod Challenge. Like I said, 26 medium rod. Let's do this. It's like the perfect fall day. Leaves changing, leaves on the ground, calm water chilly day this is fall guys hopefully it stays around for a little while in winter oh my god that's a big carp right there did you see the swirl on that oh there's a bite fish on oh my god yes <laughs> i flipped right under that bridge and i caught a fish Tiny rod challenge complete. I'm gonna still go with it because I didn't bring my other rod, so I really have no other choice. First one on the tiny rod. Let's go. Let's get a release on this one. The tiny rod challenge is complete. Now, it's time to have some fun with this. I'm gonna see if I can catch one more fish 
here on the speed crawl and then I'm gonna switch it up a little bit let's see if there's a let's see if there's one chilling under here again it could be holding under here oh geez that was a horrible cast I think cast this damn thing oh well I probably scared away all the fish <laughs> that were under there if possible My God! Wow! He almost took my rod right out of my hand. <laughs> oh, I missed him again. He, he was on it. He's on it again. Oh no. <laughs> that is why. It's because he is tiny. Just a little guy. That is why I couldn't hook him for three times. Look how small he is. Even compared to the small rod, it makes him look big. <laughs> See you later. One, two, three, fuck it. switch it up a little bit here let's see what I can put on the old tiny rod maybe a chatterbait I don't know should I try chatterbait instead I think I'm gonna try a little chatterbait now this is a little bit bigger of a chatterbait but there's a reason for that I really my goal today is to catch a decent sized fish I know that there's decent sized fish in here I've caught multiple two plus even up to three pounders in this pond so I, I just know you just have to weed through the small ones so another way to weed through the small ones is to just put on a bigger bait fish on fish on let's go come on baby get him in he does not feel big at all Another little guy, but I will take him. Whew, that's what I'm talking about. On the tiny rod. Good fish. Well, it felt good on the tiny rod. I knew he was sitting right in there. There's always a fish in there. When I flip my uh, speed craw in there, nothing bit. I, and there's always, I mean, that's like just a good stacking point for fish because the brook runs right out of there. I just knew there would be a fish in there. Let's see if I can get two. Is that another one? Two in a row? No way. I can't even reel on this. This one feels a little bit bigger. Oh yeah, he's nicer, he's nicer. There's a pounder. There we go. Right on the roof of the mouth. That's a nicer fish. That is a nicer fish. There we go. All right, guys. Fish, the best fish of the day so far. Definitely a pound. Maybe a little bit less, but good fish. And once again, guys, I'm sacrificing my sight so you guys can see well. But anyways, that's the end of this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. This was my, I think... I can't remember. I, saw, I think I, I might have added a little challenge in the videos, but I never really focused a full video on a challenge, which was the tiny rod challenge today. Used a couple different baits. I used the 
Zoom Speed Craw, Texas rigged, and um, a chartreuse and white chatterbait with a black and blue evil twin trailer, kind of like a double tail grub. That, jeez, can't even see my, it's so bright here, it's coming right off the water here. I have a couple things in store for you guys. Coming up is a very awesome, like this is probably, all right, this is probably the best unboxing I probably will ever do on my channel. Well, I, I don't know about best, not money wise, not money wise, but exciting wise. You'll know what I mean when I get it. But also, uh, next weekend, Saturday, I am going to Niantic and we're going deep sea fishing again for my third time, third, fourth, third, no. It's always good, I mean, you're gonna catch fish no matter what, but I'm really, really badly rambling right now. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you on the next one. One, two, three, fuck it.